What's up guys? It's Rachel and welcome back or welcome to your beloved girls channel. As you can see I have a real ghetto set up and I just started my period today and I just am gonna get cute for literally no reason. In the slightest way, nothing to I literally am losing every marble left and yeah, so I'm smiling because I move. I I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm gonna do my hair, so I'm just gonna lay the lace first. You know, just nothing too crazy, nothing too. I'm just gonna put the laughing faces because I just don't care that much. You know, I need this day to myself. I need this day to me. What's up? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just felt like doing this, so I am a literal shit show. So, you know, I'm gonna, ah, oh, my camera battery is about to die. No, uh, the period cramps are going crazy right now. They are going so mad. With a full battery. Now the camera just has to focus on yours, beloved. So, uh, my hair is just kind of jacked me. I feel so close. Oh my gosh, what was I saying? This is my, hold on, my litter, my, it's on 380, but I'm going to put it up so I don't have to do it like a whole bunch of times. Just going to crank that baby up. But anywho, guys, so what's up? What's the, what's the newest gloss? Wait. Last thing I can remember talking about was periods. So let me tell you some of my worst period experiences about the devil's ketchup. If my stomach literally goes crazy every single time I have my period. And so based when I got my period, I think I was in the seventh grade and we ate pizza every monday like that's something that they just had i don't know why but it was like pizza on a monday and maybe it was to like help because mondays suck and like pizza's supposed to be good but like the school pizza was awful so and i also was lactose intolerant but i really didn't know it mom had gone out of town and i was just with my dad and my brother and i remember literally i don't even think my brother was here because i think my brother was in college so I think it was just me and my dad. And I literally remember having the worst cramps all day that day, like that Monday that we had had pizza. And I literally vowed to never eat pizza again. Oh, okay. So I was convinced that the reason that my stomach was hurting so bad, or it wasn't my stomach, it was period cramps. But I had thought it was because of the school pizza so i vowed to never eat the school pizza again and then like i don't know maybe in like the ninth grade i was like damn like this hurts just like the time i ate that pizza and then i remembered like a little bit after i ate the pizza in the seventh grade when my mom was out of town my period started and I, it was just cramps but that whole seventh grade year, I had never eaten pizza again because I thought that the cramps were because of the pizza. Making a girl talk video, I don't know which one will be up first because I literally have made like six videos today because I'm trying to pick up the slack on the vlogmas because I don't believe that you should say that you're going to do something and then not do it. I also, since we're talking, we're chit chatting about YouTube. I have been bullied for saying the word chit chat so now I don't know if I'm gonna say it anymore because ah, this is a good topic that just popped up in my head that I my Instagram the other day because I was asking like what should I talk about on my girl talk 
And I was like, yeah, I'm going to do like a chit chatty video. And like the people who go to my college and the people who go to my, who went to my high school were all like, oh my God, chit chat, Rachel, like you talk so white. And like, I did go to a predominantly African-American, more ghetto, honestly, I can say it. It was a ghetto school, but I really didn't fit in. Like, it's not that I didn't fit in, mainly because I was like a cheerleader and I was nice to everybody and I was like pretty talkative. So like, you were just gonna have to I'm an introvert's worst nightmare because I will really sit and chit chat. Ew, I said it again. They were basically telling me that I, I talk so white. And so many people have told me this. I don't really give a fuck what you think I sound like or what you think I talk like. So don't ever waste your time and even telling me, oh my god, Rachel, you talk so, no, I don't talk so anything. I talk like Rachel Aaron Rodgers and that is it. And it's okay. But as far as talking white, I really don't get that. You cannot talk a fucking race. So fuck you. And people who say I act white. Um... Be give, I just give it to him at this point. I'm just like, okay, but I don't believe and I'm gonna talk about this in my girl talk But I don't believe that someone else's opinions Should ever define who you are and like who you see yourself as and therefore when other people give you opinions You're just kind of like Okay, I'm wearing makeup, which I'm Don't really know if I feel like doing <laughs> like I was going to but I, I I'm not sure anymore when people are like Oh, Rachel, you do this, or you do this, or you look like this, or this is you. I actually don't get that many negative YouTube comments so far. Knock on wood. I have gotten the one that's like, oh, Rachel, you, act, you, you sound white. You talk so white. I got that one before. But I have not gotten, like, too many on my appearance at all. But in high school, I, I'm not high school, but growing up, well, in high school, too, uh, growing up like just people have always like kind of made a comment about like my either my personality which I feel like it might be, be I mean I can't help it but like people have like I don't want to say bullied because they were like my friends I guess but honestly it's just toxic positivity or something like that like they just were like not really my friends like they were making comments on my appearance and my glasses and how big my eyes were in these goggles i'll laugh along with it because i just don't care and i love my glasses and it doesn't bother me but it is like okay like it never hurts i never give it the opportunity to hurt my feelings i guess is that a good way to put it when i was younger i felt like i was the duff I didn't even see myself as pretty, so I always just kind of ran to the funny side. Like, I was like, okay, I'm just going to be funny. Because, honestly, I was not that cute. Like, I just didn't try because I didn't feel pretty. So, I wasn't going to try and act and dress pretty when I didn't even feel it. I don't feel like I identify with a certain group of people. And I don't feel like I'm the duff of anybody because I am not with anybody. I'm just my own person. So, that's... That, I don't know, I feel like I've gone like 25 different ways, like Every time I close my eyes Oh my gosh, I just now saw the Wonder um, music video I was the biggest Shawn Mendes fiend during the MagCon days, like in 8th grade Me and my friend Alana went to a Shawn Mendes concert that I cannot find the pictures of I think they're my dad's computer, but that's like a thing I need to have. Like, I need to have it. I can't just be like, oh yeah, I went to a Shawn Mendes concert and it was $35. That's how much the tickets were. And I think I looked at like a concert for him like two years ago when he was getting like big still. Like still kind of getting... I thought somebody was... Somebody is calling me. toxic boy <laughs> and I'm going to his house now get ready with me to go be a stupid dumb bitch
Rachel, we gotta go. Come on. Where, where's the